In this training video, we're going to look at advanced filtering and using the option copying to another location. So in the previous advanced filtering video, we copied, we filtered in place and we had the answer down the bottom here that gave us 25. Now I've got the same data, the same scenario, and I'm just going to repeat the scenario that I've done on the other video and I'm just going to copy it to another location in this example. So I'm going to set the criteria now for the scenario that I've set here. So sales from France less than 10,000. So France. And then you can type in any case as, as long as you spell it correctly. And France has to be less than. So arrow to the left, 10,000. Next one's or Spain. So anything, anytime you come down a row, it's an or. So I'm writing in the criteria here. Or. Uh, Spain, which is greater than or equal to 15,000. So Spain, and Spain happens to be greater than, arrow to the right, or equal to 15,000. Or any sales by Hargreaves. So salesperson is going to be Har Hargreaves. Uh, or the last one, any sales by Harris, which is less than or equal to 10,000. So Harris and Harris has to be less than or equal to 10,000. You just click in the data. So the data is from A9 down. Go to the data tab, advanced, and it picks up what's called the list range. We're going to copy it to another location. We're going to copy this example to K1. I'll make it L1, L1, and I always advise people, even if the criteria comes up, to reset it in case it changes. So I'm going to delete it and reset the criteria range. And I only highlight from the head ends, but down to where there's data, and I never highlight the blank areas. This is just for additional criteria. Click OK. And now here's the result of the criteria copied in the location. I can filter it, I can sort this to make sure it's correct. So to pick in the data, I can sort it on the data tab. In this example, I'm going to sort by country. And I'm going to go Z to A. And then I'm going to sort by, I'm going to add a level. And then I'm going to go by unit sold. And I'm going to go highest to lowest or largest to smallest. Click OK. And if I look at some of the data, so it's anything by Hargreaves, so it doesn't matter what the value is, there's the Hargreaves. There are other Hargreaves spotted throughout, but you can see some of them are UK, some of them are USA. So the UK have to be Hargreaves or Harris, because I haven't asked for UK here. So they have to be Hargreaves or Harris. And there they are. And there's a Spain but you can see pretty quickly that the date is now marrying up as I want it to work. France down the bottom here. These would all have to be less than 10,000 except it's Hargreaves. So here's a France, big number, and that's because of Hargreaves. So we can see quickly how this is working. Now you can analyze this further. I could say, for example, what's the total sales average, average sales, maximum sales, number of sales. So I'm going to put a couple of headings in here, so you can really start analysing the data now. So total uh, sales uh, average sales maximum sales and last one number of sales. Always widen the columns like normal. You can double click it. I'm just going to put some formatting against these headings. So you can do this with the format painter. So I'm going to use the format painter. A bit of formatting applied. And I'm going to left the line. Okay, now I'll put the answers in. So, total of all the sales in this criteria, we can use the auto sum. So, formulas tab. Auto sum, sum, 
enter the average same idea auto sum again average just change the range i don't include 27 i only want to go to 26 so i'm just going to move it one up there's the average maximum sales same idea again move it two up so 28 on 126 a number of sales should be 25 which is what was in the previous video so count numbers and i only want it and you can also change this in the formula bar i wanted 26 and there's the same 25 as we had in a different example but this shows you how you can copy uh, an extraction of filter using advanced filter to another, another location and it must be a location in the same worksheet as in this example but then you can always cut and paste it to another worksheet so you can get around this you don't have to copy keep it keep the copy in the same worksheet you can just do the advanced filter copy it to another location in the same worksheet and then just cut and paste it to another worksheet but this shows the kind of thing you can do there we've quickly gone to a scenario written a scenario use the data for the advanced filter got an extraction to start an l1 then have a bit of a sort to check it's all correct and then even analyze it to find out information from it but this completes the training video on advanced filtering whereby we've copied to a, another location in this particular video if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching